Would you like to watch a good Diane Kruger movie? We can help you. Here are our top 10 recommendations. I want them to know they can't hurt me anymore. They can't hurt me anymore. Number 10. Welcome to Marvin is a drama biography movie about an artist who's attacked by five men and left for dead. Due to the brain damage caused by the beats he suffered, he has lost his memories. To help to regain his memories, he creates a miniature World War II village called Marvin. Max Damon's come back when he asked to testify against the five men that attacked him. Diane's row is a witch in the fictional model village. Come with me. Don't play with me. Don't play. If you come, we'll never be safe. But I'll love you. Number 9. Troy is an epic historical war film starring Brad Pitt, Eric Bana and Orlando Bloom. We all know the story. During the late Bronze Age, two nations start fighting after Paris. The Trojan prince takes Helen, queen of Sparta, and her husband Menelaus with his brother Agamemnon try to get her back. The movie was one of the most expensive films and absolutely a favorite with the audience in 2004. Diane was found too thin during the casting and she needed to gain weight for the role. Number 8. Unknown is an action thriller film. A biochemist and his wife arrive in Berlin for a conference. He needs to return to the airport for his last briefcase, but on the way there he has an accident which ends up in a coma for him. After a few days memory problems, he gets back to his wife, but another man has claimed his identity and his wife denies she knows him. He tries to find out what has happened. Honestly, I've seen a lot of coma stories, but this one has surprised me at the end. Sit. You don't know shit yeah, until you've been gang for seven hours. Number seven. The Hunting Party is an adventure comedy thriller movie about the Bosnian War from 1994. The fictional story is leading us into the world of Muslims, the Bosnian Serb forces, and Dragoslav Bogdanovic. An American journalist, a cameraman, and a discredited war correspondent tries to find the number one criminal in Bosnia. Their adventure is pretty dangerous. Number 6. Merry Christmas is an international epic war drama film, a true story of a very special Christmas truce. Though humanity fights its bloodiest forever, in 1914, during World War I, Christmas Eve is coming. On the Western Front, soldiers peacefully meet each other in no man's land, even though they know that their superiors will not tolerate this. Number 5. Farewell My Queen is a historical drama film about Marie Antoinette's last days. In July 1789, the French Revolution is rumbling, when the news of the conflict reaches the royal family, almost all the aristocrats' servants are escaping, but the loyal queen's reader is staying. Diane Kruger played the title role as the queen, and the clothes from the 18th century suited her perfectly. <laughs> All right, hell. <laughs> Number four. Inglorious Bastard is an adventure, drama, war movie written and directed by Quentin Tarantino. It's absolutely a must-see film, but not because of Diane Kruger. This movie is an alternative story about World War II. It has earned an Academy Award, a Golden Globe Award in the Best Supporting Actor category, and the Best Actor Award at Cannes Film Festival. Number 3. Mr. Nobody is a science fiction drama film about a dying old man in a new world where everyone else is immortal. This movie becomes a cult film, showing us three deep emotional stories from Mr. Nobody's memory. She appears as Mr. Nobody's adult love. Personally, this is my favorite Diane Kruger film. How do they look? Like they've been stuck inside a shell waiting to be around your neck. Number 2. The Infiltrator is an American biographical crime thriller film based on the true story of Pablo Escobar, the Colombian drug lord from the 80s. 
During the 80s, a US special agent infiltrated to become a key person for drug lords, laundering their dirty money. Later, he gets into the world's largest cartel and helps to fight against the money laundering organization of drug lord Pablo Escobar and take down the Bank of Credit and Commerce International, which had secret illegal cases. The best day in Krugamo. Number 1. In The Fade. She made her German film debut in 2017 in The Fade. This drama film tells us a story about a mother, Katya, whose husband and son was killed by a neo Nazi group in a bomb attack. After mourning and injustice, she seeks revenge. The movie won a Golden Globe Award in the category Best Foreign Language Film and earned for Diana Cannes Film Festival Award for Best Across. What's your favorite Diane Kruger movie? Comment it down below. This was the top 10 of Diane Kruger. Thanks for watching us. If you liked the video, please subscribe and ring the bell.